Okay guys, I am here to share with you today um, using a product called Liquid Rubber to waterproof the deck on this playhouse I've been building. So I found this product online, it looked like it had some really good reviews. I ordered it from Amazon and I'm going to show you guys how it works and I'll keep you updated on whether or not it is holding up. To begin the process to apply this product, I have sanded this exterior grade plywood smooth again. It's been exposed to the elements, it's been getting bird poop and bugs have been coming all over it and lizards and all that so I just wanted to get all of the oil and dirt off so I sanded it with 40 grit sandpaper and I also filled in this, the joints, the seams between the pieces and the nail holes, screw holes, all of that with Minwax wood filler. I'll put a link to that in the description just so you know which one I used. They also recommended um, sanding any sheet metal on the surface of the area that you're waterproofing. So I sanded this bit of sheet metal with 40 grit. Um, this is actually an L shaped piece of metal that comes up the back so it was it comes up the back of this wall so it was actually another level of waterproofing to prevent water running back there. Um, but now I want the liquid rubber to adhere to the surface of this also. So um, sanded all of this 40 grit sandpaper. Next step is I'm supposed to apply a primer. So I'll show you that in a minute. Okay guys, I have everything ready to apply the primer. I just want to show you what it looks like. So the primer is really pretty watery. I was going to use a roller until I saw how watery this is. And it's actually applying really fast and easily with this old brush. So I'm just going to use this brush, put a nice, even, generous coat of the primer everywhere on the floor in here. And I'm going about half an inch or three quarters of an inch up the walls and along the post just to give it a little bit of extra protect protection around all the corners where wall and floor meet. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of that. So that primer layer dried and it leaves the plywood looking a little bit shiny as if maybe like there's a coat of polyurethane on it, but it's completely dry. Um, I applied this whole deck, so it's about 5 by 15 feet. I applied this whole deck with the primer in about 5 minutes and I think it was probably dry after an hour. It says to apply or start applying the liquid rubber. I think within 6 to 24 hours is what the directions say. Now I have started applying the sheets of geotextile. So you put a layer of the liquid rubber down, apply the geotextile to that, and then wait a few minutes for it to start drying, and you apply more liquid rubber on top of that. So let me show you how that goes. Okay, so this is where two pieces of plywood butt up against each other. And to prevent any possible leaking, I am going to apply the I'm going to apply the geotextile and let me show you how easy this stuff is to use. So this feels more like um, you're applying a coat of pudding from a kid's pudding cup or something. You want to go really thick it says so don't be shy. And you want to press it down into the liquid rubber. Smooth it out, make sure there's no air bubbles or creases. Okay, now I'm going to carefully apply a really thick layer of um, the liquid rubber on top.
Okay, so I have completed all of the geotextile, um, the layer below and above it. So I'm going to let this dry probably for a few hours before I come back to see if it's ready for another coat. And I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so a few things have obviously happened since I recorded the last video. So the initial work I did with the textile and getting that set in place before I could do my first coat took longer to dry than anticipated. So it was almost dusk that night and I decided I'm just going to put the first coat on. I couldn't really record a video for it, but I wanted to get the process started because we've got a huge storm coming on Monday, a tropical storm. I live in Houston. So I wanted to get this completed before then. So the next day I woke up hoping that after 12 hours it would be dry, completely dry and ready to do a second coat. Well, it wasn't. Um, at 2 p.m. that day, so 18 hours after applying that first coat, um, it was mostly dry except for the edges where I got it really thick, um, hadn't completely set yet. And a huge storm hit. So 18 hours later, a huge storm hit. So the parts that were dry stayed dry. The thicker parts around the edges are now wet. So this is the ne uh, the next day. So it rained yesterday at 2 p.m. Um, this got wet and it hasn't dried yet. So um, right now I'm thinking I'm going to just gently wipe that away. I don't want to scrub it because I don't want to lift what's underneath it. I'm just going to dry away or wipe away the wet spots. Clean this off and do the second coat and I'll show you that process. Okay, so I've poured a little bit of the liquid rubber onto this deck and I'm going to start spreading it around. So I use a brush in the corners and around any of the posts for the um, railing. And then I come back in with just a roller and smooth it out and roll it around. So I'll show you how, that, how I'm doing that. Okay guys, I wanted to show you how this deck looks after applying uh, five layers of the product. Uh, I love the feel of this product. It sort of feels like linoleum now that it's dried. I've tried putting my fingernail into it to press a line and it seems really strong and durable. I'm hoping it holds up well. I'm going to be putting some Adirondack chairs up here next week after the cure time. So it, there's a one week wait time before putting furniture on the surface. So I'm going to put some Adirondack chairs up here and I'll let you know again in the description if I ever feel like that this product isn't really holding up the way that I would expect it to. Or if of course any rain ends up getting inside of the playhouse beneath, beneath this surface. So um, as of right now, I really love this product. I think it's great. It's pretty easy to apply. It does just take time for all of the layers to dry and everything to set but it's an easy product to apply. Here's a close-up look at how the surface looks now. And